Hello, this is Terry Dean of MyMarketingCoach.com and in this short video, I want to show you the basics of setting up goals inside of Google Analytics. I work with a lot of website owners who use Google Analytics to track their traffic, but very few of them have any goals set up and goals are very important and one of the most powerful features inside of analytics. You can use this to determine the value of visitors being produced at your site. This could be search engine visitors, it could be visitors from pay-per-click, it could be visitors from even Facebook or Twitter inside of the social section in analytics. But so you've got to set up goals. And so let's go through and let's get right into the basics of setting up your goals. Log into your analytics account, click on the administration section. Once you click on the administration section right here, it'll take you to the pages you see up. You might have multiple profiles here, but we're going to choose the profile and then you're just going to click over here right here to goals all right you can have as you can see you have four goal sets and up to five goals for each one so a total of 20 goals that you can set up now i want you to think about what goals do you want to track on your website it depends on the type of website that you own for example one of the most important things to me is this is this is one of my blog sites one of the most important things for my blog sites is I want to produce an opt-in. So I want to track the opt-ins to my email list on this website. Now, if you're an e-commerce website and you're selling multiple products, you might want to track the products that are being sold and you can track the products being sold. Let's say that you're a consulting firm and you want to, the whole purpose of your website is to get people to fill out the free consultation page. Well, then the goal that you'd want to track is after people fill out for a consultation, you'd want to track that page to see where the consultations are coming from, you know, what type of traffic is bringing those in. Let's say that you sell advertising. So you might run a blog or you run free services and your goal is to sell banner ads on, on your website. So what's important to you is that you have visitors who visit multiple pages. Well, you can track the number of pages your visitors take which of course means more money to you for more revenue for advertising let's say that you're a local business okay and people end up coming into your retail store after they go to the page that shows the map of where you're at so your location page well that means you could track how many people go to your location page and where they came from as a goal so we would set your location page as a goal now, one thing to keep in mind, all of your goals have, at this current time while I'm doing this video, all your goals have to be on the same domain. So since it's MyMarketingCoach.com, that means the thank you page for my opt-in box must be on my marketing coach's domain somewhere. It could be MyMarketingCoach.com slash thank you. It could be any directory on this domain, but it must be on the same domain right now. So let's go in and let's set up our first goal. And as I said, since I want to track opt-ins, that's what I'm going to track here. So I'm going to call this goal um, opt-in. That's what I'm going to call it. Name it whatever it is, whatever you know will track for you. So if you're selling a product sale, if it's product A, then it's product A for you, whatever it is, you know. And then we're going to make this active. You've got a different goal type for a URL destination. That means I'm going to choose the URL the person lands on for the thank you page. So for me. Let's say, this isn't necessarily true for my website, but let's say that my thank you page is at mymarketingcoach.com slash thank you. And this page would be the page someone will land on after they opt in. So I can have opt-in forms all over my website, and then after somebody opts in, they land on this thank you page to get whatever gift I promised them for opt-in. That's what I would put here. In, in a goal URL. Now for match type, there's several different match types. There's exact match, there's head match, and there's regular expression match. To keep this video simple, we're going to use an exact match, which means this is only going to count somebody who lands on this page specifically. For a head match, it would mean a specific directory. So in other words, I could have a thank you directory and then any page inside of that directly, directory would count. 
and then ex regular expression match pretty much means like multiple, it could be multiple different thank you pages that are all tracked as one goal here. But again, let's make it real simple for your first goal setup. Let's just go with an exact match goal. You check this if you want it to be case sensitive. I do not want this to be case sensitive. And then for the goal value, you put the value it has to you. For, so let's say, for example, that I know that the average opt-in for me is worth $10. Well, then I could put $10 here. If you were selling a product, then you would put the price of the product that you're selling. That's the value to you. Let's keep on moving down with this. And we can use a funnel here, which this means that you could have multiple steps in a funnel. Okay, so let's say for my opt-in, not only do I want to track the opt-in, but I'm using double opt-in confirmation, which means that somebody opts in, they land on a thank you page, and then they get an email that they click inside the email and they confirm that this is that they do want to receive my emails. They're taken back to my website and they land on another thank you page. I could track each of those goals in the steps and it would it would track each of those steps in the goal. And we could see where we're losing people at. So in other words, I could see not only if people are subscribing, but if they're not going back and confirming their subscription. And the beauty here again is not only am I seeing you know, where we're losing people, but I'm seeing whether the results are different from SEO, from Facebook, from Twitter, and all these different types of visitors. So it's giving me a lot of value here for my URL des destination. So this is the easiest one to use, is the URL destination, the exact match of landing on a page, and then you can do multiple funnels if you want. Let's move, move back up here. We could have visit duration, which basically just means how long it's gonna track if a visitor stays on your page over a certain amount of time. So how long do they say? We could also track how many pages they go to. So again, if, if you're selling advertising on your site, and I want a lot of people visiting a lot of different pages on my site, so there's a lot more ads being shown to them, then I could say that I want people to have visited more than 10 pages on my site. And if they visit more than 10 pages on my site, that's worth 75 cents. We'll put 75 cents to me. So you see there's a lot of things you can track. Now events, again, get a little bit more complicated here for the setup, and we want to keep this basics. I mean, you can track all different types of events on your site, specific actions, like if they watch an entire video, if they even even if they fill in an opt-in form and stay on the Sage page, you can track it here with these systems. But for this, it's not really a simple setup. So let's go back. If you're just setting this up yourself and you're a non-techie, do a URL destination, choose the URL that's a thank you page. So if they just purchase a product, after they purchase the product, they land on this thank you page. Or if they just opted in, they land on this thank you page. Go with the exact match. Normally I wouldn't have it case sensitive. It doesn't really matter as long as you get the case correct, but we don't need it. Put the value it is to you. You don't have to put a value, but you can put the value. And you can have multiple steps in the process also. And it tracks each step. And that's really the basics of getting set up. So go out now and set up your first goal in your system.